Hello there. This is a, a video on spawning, controlling spawning and despawning with um, like after death or after a health change. Um, this is from a question that uh, I've seen a number of times on the forums and it's uh, to spawn or spawn another entity after reaching a predetermined health level or after death. Now I've shown a couple times on the forum how to do this and but this first video and this is a video in the 1.8.9 scripting format so I thought I would show this um, give everybody a good understanding of this so here we have this guy here and if you kill him he kill he turns into kill me too so if you kill me too he turns into kill me uh, same with this guy they're just same thing they just go back and forth um, they have a very low low health so I can easily kill them. Um, so this is all just controlled by if you look in here uh, with the new scripting you just have function died and then event and then these begin with the event um, everything will begin with an event uh, event NPC world spawn clone um, and it spawns it at the position um, that the clone or the uh, NPC is, and it, and uh, kill me two spawns kill me, and kill me two, and kill me spawns kill, uh, <laughs> and the other way around, um, and then after that the NPC despawns, so he doesn't come back again after death. Um, so that is all there is to it in. Um, if you were doing it in 1.8 or lower you could put this all in the uh, it wouldn't be died it is the I have it right here it is the killed there's a tab called killed in 1.8 and lower down to <clears throat> 1.7 and uh, those versions so you would put uh, just NPC world spawn clone and then you want to, you could leave these events off and it would basically be the same you would just put it in that tab but that is basically what this function is doing is replacing the tab okay if you look at the new scripting um, here it has these hooks um, so instead of update it's called tick now and uh, instead of killed it's died and there's a couple additional ones and dialogue closed is dialogue options now but I'm getting off point here so anyway this is all it takes to uh, <laughs> to do this in these two guys here so as you can see yes kill me goes to kill me too and kill me too goes to kill me there we go I got it straight so um, you could have these guys slightly different if you wanted to. I mean, you know, I mean, you could change anything about them. You can change their, their, you can just, that's, uh, I don't know why it's, okay, we'll make him a chef, and you could, uh, give him something in his, uh, hand there, right there, like that. Um, save him, uh, because he needs to be saved in the server side, under tab 1, which I, um, reference in the clone command, or the spawn, command um, so when I kill this guy he turns into him so it's just like that so that's all there is to that it's very simple to do you could change uh, now this guy is similar uh, in that he changes um, he's got four different skins that he changes and that and that once again could be anything it could be a strength size um, whatever but so if I attack this guy uh, he's got a health of 35 if he gets below 30 he will he will turn it into this skin and if he gets below 20 he will change again into that skin and you can see his his uh, tactical styles change he's 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 uh, he's retreating now and then he's got one more skin to there he goes now then that's he's below 10 now I'll probably if I hit him again he would probably die so um, uh, 
we'll just leave him alone now. Um, he won't change back to his original one until uh, he reaches above 30. Yeah, above 30 he will change back to his, his starting skin. So right now he's going to stay this way. Um, and since he's neutral, he's not he's not going to try and attack me even though I attacked him. He's There he goes. So we can hit him a couple times. And now he's, he's uh, retreating. So we'll just look at that script real quick here. Uh, all right. So, once again, we have function damaged, and damaged is the the uh, hook. Um, and it's event, event, NPC, get health. And if it's less than 10, he turns into Mickey D, Steve. If it's less than 20, bodyguard Steve, less than 30, kung fu Steve. So, it will go, it will find this one first, less than 30, usually. Uh, as you're attacking him from his his peak health of 35 is what I said it at. So he will turn into Kung Fu, Bodyguard, Mickey D. Uh, and then this update f function, which I call update, which is really tick now. Um, uh, once he uh, his health is above 30, it, he will turn back to Gangster Steve. So, and his retaliation type will turn to zero, which is retaliate or the default. Um, up here, you can see event NPC uh, AI set retaliate type two, and that's uh, that's a retreat. So, um, and in here, event NPC dot display set skin type, and you can see um, right there. See NPC display. And that's how you figure out what type of uh, methods you need to, to search for and how you set this up, I guess, is what you would say, what it falls under, what category. Um, so that's really all there is to it. Here's the AI um, and tactical range. Retaliate type, yeah, right there. So, retaliate type, um, there it tells retaliation, normal, panic, retreat, nothing. Okay. So, that's how you do it. And it's, uh, it's something like that is fairly simple. It would, um, in the 1.8 and lower, you, you would put those things under the hooks and you wouldn't need the events. It would be of a similar format. Um, you wouldn't need the event. Um, you wouldn't need the event or the display, so it's it's really would be similar in 1.8. The the flow of it, you're just basically checking the health and then after the damage and then setting some new <laughs> skins or whatever you want. Like I said, you can set size, uh, what's in their hand, whatever you'd like. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Where did everybody go? There they are. So that's all there is to it. And thanks for watching.